Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead at Heart. I had to come back and do this follow-up video from the video that we released earlier today on the um, sweet potato harvest that we did, you all. And in the comment section, it just kind of exploded, right? With what you all thought it could be um, in our raised beds. Even Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead commented to let us know what they thought it should be and a lot of you were saying hey they got a lot of experience you might want to ask them but i didn't have to <laughs> because they had already posted it in the comment section below so i'm going to tell y'all something so you remember this was the bed that we harvested the sweet potatoes from and it got me to thinking <laughs> come on smoking joe it got me to thinking so i'm gonna walk down here because Y'all remember the potatoes that we planted in this bed down here and all of our potatoes were eaten. We didn't even find the seed potato, right? A lot of them were eaten. But another thing, I'm going to show y'all this. Let me cross over right here and I'm going to show y'all this because this was the part that made me go, oh, it probably is either rats or voles. Some of you said voles like root crops, uh, not moles, but voles with a V as in victorious, right? Now, check this out. I'm gonna put this camera down, not editing, <laughs> but I'm gonna set this camera up because I want y'all to see this. I think y'all are right. Now, make sure ain't no ants right here either. Remember when I was talking about digging up the bed, digging up the bed to put hardware cloth down and I didn't want to take a chance on damaging. Hold on. There we go. No, it ain't. Hold on. Oh, could you move, Miss Kitty? I'm about to sit on her. <laughs> Girl, you wouldn't have recovered. Now look. <laughs> Wish I could cut that part out. <laughs> okay, anyway, what I was saying was, look, you all, it got me to thinking. Because in this very raised bed right here, the potatoes were in these two beds, right? This bed, I think it was, next to me. But in this bed was my carrots. <sighs> Let me show y'all something. Where is it? Because it got me to thinking. Josh, let me see if I can find it. That wind is picking up out here, you all. Let me hold this for a second. this way yet but we are getting the winds picking up right we've seen what Ian has done in Florida and the devastation is unbelievable right it's really really something that devastation and it's now back in the ocean and headed up the east coast so you all so we, the winds here are beginning to pick up which is why I'm gonna to try to hurry up and get this video done. But let me see something here. I had, I just had my eye on it. Because I dug up one of my carrots. Hold on, let me see if I can see it. Kitty, are you eating it? You are. Oh, no, you're not. All right, so, oh, here it is, right here in front of me. So you all, I pulled up a couple of these carrots because I just wanted to see. Because I started wondering like, what was going on with my carrots? Why the tops weren't looking as good, right? As you know, they would look fine and then 
I will come out in a day or so later, they don't look so good. These are two different carrots right here. Look at that. Look. Something ate it from the bottom. And when I pulled it out of the ground, I literally was just able to pick it straight up because there was nothing there. Look. Now y'all see this, right? Look at that. Look at how it's been eaten on right there. Just look at that. That's what made me come out to this bed and start looking at the carrots where the tops had turned brown like this while the rest of them still was green, but these were turning brown. So it made me come out here and then to grab this one. Now this one doesn't look like it was ate off of. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on there. But you can see something ate the rest of this carrot. Let's see. If I can find another one. Ooh, y'all, this wind. Look at this one. that yeah wow and it's actually starting to rain it's actually starting to rain too so I think I better move from right here because the winds are getting stronger and it's starting to sprinkle rain but check this out check this out y'all my carrot has been eaten. And you know this had to have been a nice sized carrot right here. Cause look at the diameter of this carrot. So that had to have, and these were the uh, Nantes carrots that we planted. So look at it. Yeah. So now I'm positive that you all are 100% correct. Yes. I'm gonna cross back over and get from under this tree. But this was my carry bed that I was trying my best to allow those carrots to go to seed for next year, right? Not this year, but next year we were hoping to get seed from them so we could start saving our own carrot seeds right now look at that there's no we probably got three or four left in the ground carrots right three or four maybe left in the ground but from the looks of it they're not going to make it to next year in order for us to be able to collect seeds from them so we do have a problem either with moles rats i don't know if we have gophers here i don't think we would have gophers here um in this area i'm not ruling it out but i just don't think we do i don't think we do but at the same time i never would have thought we had bowls either I never, that never ever has crossed my mind about that's why my potatoes were eaten or that's what happened to the carrots, right? And even in our chicken house, um, in the um, brooder, there are these large holes that come from underneath all of the pine shavings in the brooder. And I told Mr. H, there is a rat out here doing this, right? But now I'm not so sure if it's a rat or if it's indeed a vole. Would it be a mole? I don't know if it would be a mole. What do moles eat? Do they eat vegetables? But in any case, remember when I said that we, I would hate to have to dig out the soil 
and put hardware cloth in and then disturb the biology of the soil. I didn't want to do that, right? But now I gotta do that. Now I gotta do it because if I don't, they'll eat my onions. They'll eat every root crop that we plant in this bed. Now someone asked the question, could it have been worms? No, no, <laughs> no. If y'all saw those sweet potatoes, y'all saw they had teeth prints, right? Or like this lady used to say <laughs> when I was a little girl, my mom used to walk me to school in the mornings, right? And we would go into the cafeteria in the morning and the lady who worked, it was several of them that loved me. They loved for me to come in early, right? I was always the first one in there and I would just be sitting and my mom would sit with me until it was time for her to leave and go to work. She would sit with me. So I was always early than everybody else. So the cafeteria ladies, they just loved me because I would sit in there and read a book or whatever I would be doing until time for me to get up and go to class or before the other students would come in. But anyway, one of the cafeteria ladies, when she would bring fresh bread out, you know, that's when they used to cook at the schools. When you had a real meal, they would cook fresh bread. They would get to the schools at four in the morning to start the, the, uh, the dinner rolls and all of that. And I love those rolls. And so she would always, when they come out of the oven, she would always bring me a dinner roll every single every single morning she would bring me a dinner roll and that's when they used to cook eggs and stuff like that right cook the toast anyway i digress <laughs> but like she used to say when one day she was bringing me that roll she was talking so fast she say i almost lost my teethis <laughs> and i'm like teethis and she like my teethis you don't know what teethis is and i'm like <laughs> and my mama gave me that look like you better not say nothing <laughs> and when she walked away I'm like mama what is teeth is she's a like, teeth riddle <laughs> I'm like oh <laughs> but anyway those were teethis marks on those sweet potatoes okay <laughs> them was teethis prints them was not that that was not a worm it was certainly not the grubs those were teeth marks and you could see like they had been chomping down on those sweet potatoes now also a few of you asked you know what did i do with the sweet potatoes after i put them in my greenhouse they're on the table of my greenhouse because they have to cure my greenhouse is easily 85 degrees even though it's cool outside right now it is warm as all get out in there <laughs> and it's quite humid and that that is the conditions by which you cure your sweet potatoes so our sweet potatoes will stay in that greenhouse on that table between two to three weeks or so and then after that we'll take them and uh, put them in a box just a little cardboard box. I'll put some um, fine pine shavings on the bottom, put the sweet potatoes down. I'll layer it with pine shavings again, put more sweet potatoes. I'll just keep layering it like that. And the pine shavings to my knowledge for the sweet potatoes will also help to keep moisture away from them. Okay, so that's the plan for curing our sweet potatoes. And we'll take them out, like I said, in about two and a half to three weeks. So yeah, y'all, that is what I believe happened. Now these vines right here, these are the sweet potato vines that we pulled out. And the leaves on these are so badly damaged, you know, with all of the holes and whatnot. We're gonna feed these vines to our chickens. Yes, we are. Now, I'm very excited to see what the process or what will happen once we get, I'm gonna have to get my wheelbarrows, once we shovel all of this soil out, 
once we shovel all of the soil out, we'll put down, we have some hardware cloth and we'll put down that hardware cloth and um, yeah, we'll tack it down really good with those six inch staples that we have. That's what we'll do and um, see what happens after that. Now we know what happened to our sweet potatoes. Thank you, thank you all so much for sharing that because like I said, that never crossed my mind. So we know what happened to our sweet potatoes. We know what happened to our gold potatoes. We know what happened to our carrots now. They just was chomping them away. And, they're, and so it's obvious they have a tunnel under these raised beds because they literally went from raised bed to raised bed eating our root crops. And now I'm concerned about my turnips that I've planted. I'm very concerned about those turnips. I don't know if we're gonna get any. I've already started the seeds, so I don't know if we're gonna get any, you know, at all. Not sure. The only way that I could be certain that we may get some is if I go over to my beds right here, my raised beds, and start planting in the raised beds over there, not the raised bed, but in the garden beds over there, or if the bed where I took out the sweet potatoes, if I can pull that soil out, put the hardware cloth down, and then replant. Or maybe I should just wait till the springtime. Because actually, I need these beds for my garlic. But I am a bit concerned about the onion. Now, I know what happened to my red Jerusalem artichokes. Now that I'm just, this is just now coming to my mind. Let me take you down here. Because the red Jerusalem artichokes, we planted the white, we planted the reds. We did. The first season that we planted the reds and the whites, they all did phenomenal. But when I went to dig up the reds, and now it just has weeds in it. But when I went to dig up some reds, there were none. There wasn't one underneath, like this beautiful growth right here. This is all in the second raised bed right here. But this bed right here is a four by four. This one is just a four by four box or maybe a six by four box. And there isn't one, not one plant. This is my fencing here that we put down, we rolled it over to keep the cats out, but there wasn't one sun choke in here, not one. And the pieces that we did find were eaten, just like little pieces left over, so there wasn't any left. So I'm surprised that these are still here, to tell you the truth. The wind is kind of blowing them over. Y'all can see how the wind it's starting to blow them down, especially right there. It's starting to blow them down. Because we are getting some gust of wind through here. Yeah, we are getting some wind gust through here. So it's blowing them down. Look. See there? The only thing we had growing in that first bed right there were those volunteer ground cherries. Yeah, volunteer. And this was our bed for the potatoes that we didn't, it was horrible. And we got one little potato plant trying to come back. So that means it was a little potato left in there 
and it's growing back. So now you all, we gotta come up with a solution. And I think the only option for all of these raised beds, if we're gonna ever be successful in growing root crops in these beds right here, we are definitely gonna have to, mm, oh man, we gotta dig them all up or we won't get anything. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we won't get anything unless there is another option. Cause this is, <laughs> we got a lot of raised beds out here that we use to put our root crops in. So, I don't know y'all, now we gotta do some thinking because either we are gonna dig each and every one of them out, put the hardware cloth down and we don't have enough hardware cloth for all of these beds. We don't. So either we go through the expense of having to buy it or, or chicken wire or something. I don't know. Honestly don't know. But at least now we know what the problem is and now we can start coming up with ways to to combat these creatures that's eating up all of our crops. <laughs> yeah thieves in the night <laughs> and day <laughs> but yeah you all I just wanted to come back and do this update today and share this with you all yeah this wind and it's chilly outside so yeah, you all, but that, I just wanted to share that with you all and thanking you all so much for all of the comments to kind of help us figure out what the problem could be with eating our sweet potatoes, because as you can see, it opened up everything else to let us know now what's the problem, not with just the sweet potatoes, but the gold potatoes, the carrots, the Jerusalem artichoke, all of it, right? Yeah, all of it. So now I'm concerned about the turn. All right, y'all. That is going to do it. Y'all see this? This wind is picking up. It's beginning to pick up, but the animals are okay. Everybody's good. Yeah, everybody's good. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos we upload to our channel. Thank y'all again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Thank y'all again for helping us out. Thank y'all so much. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.